it's french fry time i got two russet potatoes that i'm chopping up into big chunks and then i'm gonna put them in the instant pot put some some good water in there water and then i put some uh what do i have rosemary that's good stuff and we'll take it over to the instant pot and once i got it in there and got the lid on i'm gonna press i'm going to press pressure cook and set it to five minutes and then with the magic of time lapse on video it's done we didn't even have to hear and see the steam release let's put some olive oil on this uh, cooking sheet that we're going to put these potatoes on it can be any oil but olive oil is good and then if you've got tongs handy because these are very hot water is steaming out of them uh, take some tongs and take a fry let it drain a little bit and then you know if i squeeze this fry it's just going to disintegrate so it, you want to kind of get them to the point of being almost exploded fully but still having a, a shell and then once you got them all done uh, you can you know, get rid of potato water there is some potato left in there but a little more olive oil because that's fun and then we take the sheet and we take it into our oven in this case, it's uh, one of those Ninja air fryer ovens, but a regular oven is great. Any oven that reaches a temperature above, we'll just say 450 or exactly 450 is a good oven for you. Hey, there I am. And then, you know, 45 minutes, halfway into the process, check them and just see how they're doing. One side will be brown. They're kind of stuck, so you want to just knock them into a hard surface there to kind of unstick some of them. And then we go about the process. This is the only really time consuming part of flipping each fry individually. They, they deserve our care and attention and they deserve a little more olive oil. So once they're all set and happy, I'm gonna put them back in the oven. There's like 25 minutes ish left. Take another 20 minutes, check them. And how are they looking? They're sounding good. I can hear them sizzling. Sometimes I don't turn them as well as others. Whatever, they're gonna be good. And then I actually switched my oven to the air fry mode for a bit of this. That was good because it does something different, but I don't think it matters. Both these taste very good, I can tell you that, air fry or otherwise. And then once you got them all, the big chunks, put them in your, your paper towel bowl to kind of soak up any oil that might not have cooked. And then I'm gonna put some garlic because I like garlic and I'm also gonna but some more salt, because salt is good as long as you haven't added too much of it. And that's about it. These are really good fries. Really good. And if you make them, I hope they are so good to you too. And if you drop them on the floor like I did, just dust it off. It'll be all right.